Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Mr. JP and the game is Railroads Online. And uh, today is a quick guide to the iron mine and the line involved. So um, yeah, thank you everybody for joining me. And uh, you'll have to excuse me, I've got a little bit of a tickle in the throat so there may be some coughing. I apologise for that now. Um, and we'll get on with it. So yeah, this is the iron mine which uh, on the map wrong view, there we go. <coughs> it's down here as you can see. It's just about under the O of the uh, word iron ore, um, which is kind of handy to know. Uh, and the route extends sort of north along this dark line here, all the way along this edge of this mountain down here. Uh, and uh, it goes all the way around the back of this valley, back up along this ridge here, and round to the sawmill. It also drops down into the smelter. So that's the route of the line we're going to be driving along today to show you guys a few of the landmarks along it. But uh, pretty much the way to build that line is to start at the top here. So from here onwards, which is the top of the hill, the world is your oyster. You can build it how you like. I go for this kind of a layout. Sometimes I do what I've done here with the because it's a new item that I haven't played with yet from the last couple of updates, it's the new turntable. This is where you fill up with ore. So iron ore, I've got 35 in there because I did a test run which I made a mess of. Um, <laughs> as you can see I don't have enough lumber for the amount of beams but never mind. So yeah, lumber is delivered here, beams are delivered over here. And this is a 12 car train made up of lumber. So over here we have a second line that runs by and we have the turntable. I don't even know. There should be enough clearance there. I hope so. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to use the turntable in a sec anyway so we'll come back to that. The uh, delivery line takes a rather tight swing here. Um, it doesn't have to be this tight but I wanted to uh, unload two cars at a time so that's why it's this tight. So we're just going to apply the the uh, brakes to this end of this train, unhitch this, there we go, just going to check something here, yeah, all lovely, excellent, do a bit of driver UI as well for variety. Uh, this is the C70, which is uh, one of the top tier locomotives in the game. Uh, but the last day or two since my uh, earlier video has been said been mainly grinding lumber from the sawmill. I haven't gone far enough. Yeah, lumber from the sawmill down to the warehouse. That's what I've been doing with Betsy. And. Uh, an eight car lumber train with Betsy's a bit of a handful. Um, but yeah, we got there in the end. Uh, I wasn't taking them up to the mine, they were to the warehouse by the way, which is uh, the first line you will build is warehouse to sawmill, because you should really start at the sawmill. Build your way back to the warehouse, get slightly downhill, and <clears throat> it's a lot easier to build your lines from the top of a hill down. If you build from the bottom up you quite often come into a wall where the gradient's just incredibly steep and things are ridiculous. Um, if you start at the top and go down and you find you're just like way higher above the terrain than you want to be, uh, then it's quite easy to delete the bit you're on and go back and increase your gradient gradually rather than having to go back and, and raise it again to find your into the wall again. So uh, I, other people have other methods, but that's my my personal preferred method. So, I'm going to ride this first person just for the chuckle. But uh, I think I'm going to actually do it in UI because it'll be easier. Apparently, this turntable is big enough for this logo. We'll find out. Does front end hang off a bit like the old one? Oops. 
No, it does actually sit on it rather nicely. Okay. This is all a test. I've never actually done this before, so this could be uh, rather interesting. Okay, it looks like it's inertia related. <laughs> it's doing crazy things to the bogey on the uh, tender. That, that can make things fun. Hopefully it'll just pull back onto uh, re-rail and we won't have a derailment. I wonder if they've made it so these things lock in now. Gonna line this up off the back ones, but I have no idea whether I put this thing in square or not, so uh, I'm gonna check that the front is lined up when I do this. Because, personal opinion, these things are derailment city, I prefer my other method, but my other method looks really messy, so these look, look a lot better and it's what they're in the game for. Looks good enough for me. Take it forward here, and uh, doing a bit of a bad practice here, in that I am going to run these points that are all set against me. There's one. There's two. In the old version of the game, I think two versions back, doing that was derailment city. It was, it was an instant way to derail. These are the telegraph offices, we'll get into those, they're, they're kind of handy. Pick that one up. <coughs> and this is why I said the brake at the other end of the train before I'm hitching. Use it hard, the brakes are on tens. Nah, has just bounced a little. So I went into that far too hot. Okay. Luckily, with all the brakes on, not really a problem. I could put a telegraph office at the other end here and just teleport between the two, but I, I don't like having too many on the map. It makes it very confusing. Um, I, I think I've got too many already, but I'll figure it out later on. Once I can condense down some junctions and stuff. Mainly when I've built coal line, which will be the next sort of episode start of, because that's a long job. So yeah, once you've unloaded or loaded, whichever you're going to do, you, you simply head back down the line and we'll find out whether Mr. JP is going to derail it or not. Because I have had derailments going down this hill before by going too fast, which I was a little surprised by. I'll just take it nice and easy and see what happens. First section to here is pretty much level, so that should have slowed down a bit. Yeah. One of the uh, new bridges, which 
I like the look of. They're very nice, they come in several colours. Um, so yeah, those first two gullies are your first landmarks and then you follow this sort of canyon step in the uh, mountain all the way down. Average is about 3%, um, it, it does go up and down a little. Like here, if you were to follow the terrain, you would need a section that's sort of 6%. Uh, I, I've gone raised, because uh, I'm either going to twin line this later or I'm going to backfill and build the line alongside, I'm not sure which. I think I might rebuild the line at some point. I need to build all the others first. It'll be uh, something something for later. Just gonna apply some brakes. terrain, bad move. But yeah, there's a snaking gully there that's a landmark along the route. Decided to use that straight bit for some positive braking. Because uh, I really am not sure about this route. I haven't actually run it yet. So. First time run down the hill. I've run up the hill twice. First time I missed a tree and I derailed really badly. As I say, if you follow the train, I think that section there is actually uphill <laughs> when you're going down the hill, which is kind of ironic. I think I followed pretty much 3% slope all the way down here, but as you can see the gully is now down here. Um, so it's pretty steep if you want to build it to the terrain, which means you will need another loco, or a different loco, depending on how you want to run it. Um, what I've built is within the capability of this level 6 loco, but if I add any more cars it probably won't be. I don't like the way that's wobbling. There we go. So that wobble didn't look good around that corner. So I may have to work on that. So yeah, down here, you really want to hug that hillside a little around that corner. It's a big flat plateau. Uh, your marker for this is that it's, it's just this side of the waterfall. Give it some more regulating now. Because this is all level. Uh, and uh, <coughs> what you've got here is a big curving loop that goes round. And it goes round because... Up at the head here, there is a set of points hidden in the trees and foliage. There we go. Uh, and there you can swing off down toward the smelter with the iron ore cars, or you can go straight on as we are, which is good. And uh, it puts you onto this is a Y type affair, uh, as you can sort of see through the trees there. There's one side of it, there's the other side of it we're going across the top so it forms a triangle between three sets of points and so I do you like the way that bridge looks um, you can also from this direction drop straight down into the sawmill with uh, sawmill I mean the smelter with the um, cordwood cars and uh, obviously come straight back up with 
the rails for the coal mine and we went through the set points uh, yeah here we are set points uh, these will be where the coal mine meets this line hence why we've got a telegraph shack here so you can set the line up before you leave or even during if you want to bunk the train from another telegraph site I was going to replace this straight with a bridge and I'll get around to it as I say when rebuilding lines uh, so this is where you're following the ridge around the back end of the smelter which is down here in the valley and uh, it, there's a few routes through here uh, I, I chose straight line to be honest this is another place where I want to replace with a bridge um, this was thrown down quickly one evening about three in the morning uh, and I ended up spurring off a bit in building which was a decorative mistake but has resulted in a very fast line so can't go wrong with that let's put some wood on So yeah, as you can see, there's some pretty gnarly corners around on this terrain. If I'd gone a little bit more across, it'd be closer to the landscape and look a lot better. It may get rebuilt. Uh, there's a lot of destroying and rebuilding in this game, especially at first when you play. Um, a lot of this is trial and error and experiment, as you can see through here. Uh, I, I was trying to hug the terrain through here and I actually sort of succeeded a bit better and it looks, as you can see, a little bit more natural. <coughs> but this piece here... Bridging this gap requires building up groundwork in layers, one on top of the other. Use the walls without rails, I find, is the best one. Um, and use the iron bridge for long leg stuff. And you can actually get trains through these legs, which you can't on this type of trestle work bridge. Uh, which is kind of handy. As you can see, every other one's got a gap. Um, I think if you build them short, you get constant gap, I'm not sure. But yeah, I wanted this to hug that cliffside, but it didn't work out that way. Uh, another thing that I might rebuild at some point. So yeah, now we're on to the plateau that's uh, the sawmill side of the Smelter Valley. And through here, it's sort of level with um, a little bit above the exit of the gully that we're coming up to that's just uh, sort of south of the sawmill, as it were. I think yeah. southeast. Don't smoke. Should have turned the graphics down. So yeah, as, as you can see, it's sort of a, a constant from this direction left, from the other direction right hand corner. There's a couple of gullies that you can either bridge or skirt the edge of, depending on your fancy. All down to you, really, this game and what you want to build, <coughs> and how many other players you build it for. Currently I'm sort of running as a single player thing, so I'm just running single lines everywhere. Um, but we could still play multiplayer on it, just avoid each other on the bits we share. Um, like through here there's space for several lines. Uh, I may have shown that you can get three through here. Uh, if, you, if you try, I've drawn one straight through the middle because I was... Uh, Thinking coal line and main line, so that that was the attitude there. So as we come up through that gully, we're coming into the area near the sawmill. And so that gully leads you across and round a corner here, which you can take at any angle you like. It's quite a wide area. <coughs> Uh, but there is a gully running across it here, which you need to bridge. So, as I said, start of the sawmill, and it is kind of easier to build all of this because the sawmill is sort of the highest point, I think, by memory. There's a couple of places in here that are a little higher, but pretty much the sawmill is a good level estimate for these areas, and it, by building from that, you make everything the same level. So the main line branches off there towards the warehouse. This is another one of those triangular yokes to come into the sawmill and so obviously you bring logs down from the logging camp you deliver them into the pond at the sawmill they get turned into the thingies they get loaded on these 
pretty simple um, production chain, which leads to production of iron, which leads to production of coal, which is where I'm aiming for, because I want to experiment with coal locos. But I gave myself the challenge of rebuilding my map. Uh, we'll see how long it takes by the uh, list of the videos. So yeah, I've shut down the uh, regulator a little early, just so that we drift into where I want to stop. Be a shame to derail now. First thing I'm going to do is check I've got all the cars. Wouldn't be the first time the one at the back has just flicked off into the bushes somewhere. So uh, yeah, bring it all down here, bring it in. And there's a certain way of loading these if you want easy unloading at the other end, depending on how you're doing it. Uh, the first two cars skip on the beams side of things. And I've actually put a little marker in for this because I am a little bit like that. A good angle on it. Uh, if I was a cab view person, I'd put the marker next to the cab window, but uh, I, I line them up with the back bumper of the loco, with the back bumper of that. On a smaller loco, it acts like a little platform. So as you can see, these cranes don't line up with these first two, but these ones do. And if you are paying attention, the order you want these when you get to the other end is actually from the back of the train. So you want the lumber behind because at this end I turn the train around up at that junction up there reverse it back down and we'll connect it up at the other end of the train nice and easy and drive back the other way uh, so no turntables around here we've just got a loop so that's how you set up the sawmill sort of thing or how I do it um, there are many different ways of laying out this area. So then you just pull forward until the back end's level with about steps somewhere. Yeah, around there. Now the the trick of this now is to skip two cars so that you leave a gap and load the beams again. So I think the next stop for doing that is this one because it's built that way around. These ones are for the lumber. For when I was filling pure lumber trains, so that one is technically null and void. So the first one's beams, then lumber, then beams, then lumber, uh, and then beams. I think by memory because the last one is beams. Uh, for a 12, 12 car train. So essentially to save confusion I could get rid of that one. I may well have an additional lumber one in the middle here as well somewhere. Or I may have missed marking the beams, who knows. Find out when I move it. So yeah, it's, it's pretty much just rinse and repeat of this method uh, until the train is loaded, which is one of the most boring bits in the game. Yeah, I'll demonstrate this bit just to show you what I mean, make things clear about skipping two. Got a lot more speed on there than I wanted. Yeah, I have got the right one. That's all right. So yeah, have you marked that out this way? I've skipped two cars, or should have done if we've gone far enough forward, which I may not have done. No, no, it's lined up. And then you load the beams again. If you can actually find the crane with the mouse. There we go. So yeah, once they are loaded up, which will be fairly quick because there's only three of them, 
Let's pull forward a little bit to this next marker and load the next one. That's how you go about it. But it is one of the more boring aspects of this game is the loading of trains. I may have said it before, and I'll say it again. They need either steam cranes or improved booms that allow you to load a bigger amount on the car at once. Or passengers that uh, you can deliver that give you the ability to do it. So it's a limited thing. That would be kind of cool. You get passengers by delivering goods to the warehouse. Pick them up there. Nice and easy. Could be built into the game very simply, I should think, but uh, we won't get into me and opinions. Um, so, right. Done, done that. Do a quick save whilst I think about it. What's done here? Always remember to save. This game does crash unexpectedly on occasion. So to telegraph, teleport around through these telegraph things that I've built. You can see I've got one down at the coal mine, which is where I'm going to take you now. So this is an area that I haven't really done much building in yet. Just rigged up the line to the delivery points with a little kink in it. Um, and uh, we'll be starting from here in my next video and I'll be building this and laying the area out and showing you how I do it. Uh, and then I'll be showing you the route which uh, just as a quick thing from here hugs this uh, left hand side, goes around in a circle, comes down a slope through here uh, and then you can either follow this ridge line round and down and in or you can get onto the other side where you can see there's what looks like an old track bed mark. This one in the bottom here is the river. So the one on the left hand side is the river, this one looks like an old track bed, but it might be a red herring, I'm not sure. Uh, something I'm going to have to explore later and have a look first, I think, before I film building it. See how it goes. But uh, yeah, so, let's say teleport again, you just press, press the map, click to where you want to go. Just like that. So easy it's unreal. It's possibly the best thing about the updates recently. Uh, and as you can see I'm back at the train again. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, at some point I'll do a video of some logging with my new loco. Uh, there's some new logging cars that uh, I might buy to show off. Um, yeah, all to the good. Uh, thank you very much for joining me everybody and uh, see you later on when I'm building coal mine. Uh, looking forward to that. Not, it's one of the hardest lines in the game. Um, but it's also a necessary one because I want to play with coal engines and I think we all want to see those. So, yeah. Thank you everybody for joining me. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for subscribing. Um, Discord link below and all that. Uh, have a great day. Bye for now.